Hi everyone, welcome back. It's that time again. Yay! Um, <laughs> this actually arrived a little earlier, about a week, I'd say, earlier than normal. Um, so things are obviously moving a little quicker out there than they used to. Um, I used to get these about kind of like a few a day or about the same time that the release for the following months release came out if that makes any sense <laughs> so um just because of where i live so anyway so i'm excited it came a week earlier so that means i've got a bit more time to play with to show you guys what to do so this is the july simon says stamp of course card kit so i'm going to make a bit of noise just to get it out of the box because i've like i always do i don't look in the box i just take all the gumph off the top <laughs> so, so. So this is how they come packaged if you're new here. This is how they come packaged. It's got a lovely little label. It's beautifully packaged. I've never, touch wood, had any, uh, anything damaged or anything like that. It all comes beautifully packaged. It works really well. And bear in mind, I live overseas to them. So yeah, perfect every time. So I'll just take it out. Oh my word. Oh. Candy as always. Woo. Uh, I don't know what flavor this is. Maybe cola. I don't know. Anyway. Oh my word. I forgot there was even a paintbrush in here. You get a little paintbrush. Is very cute. Oh, let me get the thing out. Right. This. So you always get this little guide. It tells you what's in the kit, gives you some ideas of what some of the other designers that work for Simon have done. So I always find this helpful, not just for the ideas, but also when I'm telling you guys what's in the kit, um, it helps me. <laughs> so you have to bear with me because, like I say, it's the first time I take this out the kit, out the, the box. So yeah bear with me on that if i have to look for something or the name of something so this is the you shine card kit so let's see oh there's so much you always get a like a discount code thing um every time so let's see uh okay so you get a simon I believe this is a Simon. Yeah, you get one Simon A2 black envelope. So just in their color. These envelopes are super handy because I can't get A2 sized envelopes here. Um, or if I can, they are ridiculously expensive. So this is kind of cool for me to have an A2 envelope. It's a small things, right? <laughs> so, so you get an envelope. Uh, let's do the card. So there is... One, two, there's three cards, three sheets of card stock. These are eight and a half by 11. You have one sheet of Nina 110 pound card stock. That's beautiful card stock for card bases at the 110, but if you use the 80 pound or the 110, it's great card stock for your Copic coloring. So I love it for things like that, but it's a really good card base. Um, and then you have the bright yellow Simon 100 pound cardstock and this is very bright like even on camera this doesn't do it justice this is wow <laughs> so, so um, and then you also get a 90 pound Simon Says um, matte gold card and that's really nice as well because the gold that you've seen or the silver that you've seen in my videos is not a matte finish it's a it's the old school mirror cardstock so it's like super blingy um but this is really nice because it's got that sort of almost like a tarnish kind of look to it so that's them then we have let me just do that then we have oh i don't know where to start <laughs> right let's do the papers so the papers are from uh, there's 12 sheets of 
excuse the noise, the other cat, if you've seen some of our recent videos, my cat, my ginger one, he gets in everything. This time it's the black one and she's in the box. <coughs> there we go. Um, so 12 sheets of Simple Stories Vintage Lemon Twist. Yeah, 12 sheets. Are these double sided? They are double sided. So you get 12 sheets of these. So let's have a look. Oh, right way up, that's helpful. <laughs> that's very cool. I think because they're like a vintage look, you could frame this maybe in a 3D frame or create a 3D frame and put that in your kitchen. Just saying. But on that side, you've got a cool gingham. I can't even say the word. I think that's gingham. I think that's what it's called. But it's also, just looking at it, it's got this distressed kind of thing going on, which is, you know, so up my alley. And then some like newsprint kind of paper. I like this. I like it a little, oh, I like that. <laughs> that's very pretty. And then there's like a blue background of that one. Um, Again, very pretty. I like the colour combos. That's nice. That's handy all year round. I think. Again, this is another one you could just frame. If I do that, then you can see it better. Um, and these are... I don't know if I said... These are 6x8 in size. So that's, that's cute as well. Oh, that's nice. Very pretty papers, loving the colours, very summery, be sweet, <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Again, something you could frame up and put into anywhere really. Doesn't have to be like a kitchen sort of thing like I was saying earlier. Oh. And then the little bees on the back, aren't they cute? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, yes, agreed. <laughs> But I like this. Again, even though it's got a lemon theme, it doesn't have to go in your kitchen. You can put this in a conservatory, that'd be really cool. Even in a bathroom, I mean, why not? That's very pretty. Again, sort of like a newsprint, wallpapery kind of thing, that's very cool. This you could cut into strips, because it's kind of got the pattern repeats. So that's quite cool. And then the black and white version of this is on the back here, that's nice. You could ink over the top of that in a different colour. Some more gingham and the beads. I like them. That's very cool. And then a yellowy colour. And again, a white on black, if that makes sense. Whereas the other one was black on white. <laughs> and then you've got some of these little, I call them ATC cards, sort of size. But you could, um, these will be like 3 by 4 I guess. And they, um, you could use these in your project life. If you cut them down or make little cards out of them. Some nice gingham. No. Is this plaid? No, this is gingham, isn't it? And then some more of those little things. You could even have a set of three of these, say. Do some canvas work with these as your main focal point and then have three little canvases that you hang up in a in a kitchen or a, you know in your wall and then a yellow version of that sort of paper. that's very cool thanks <laughs> right then we have now let's go with this right we have a paintbrush <laughs> um this is a ranger paintbrush i've never had a ranger hello ranger paintbrush it's got a bit of an edge here um what do you call it like a slanty edge <laughs> can't get the words out um so that's nice for detail work um but yeah that's very cool i love a good paintbrush and then you have this is the gilding foundry wax gilded gilded foundry wax say that three times fast this is a new tim holtz product or newish, or pretty new, I'd say. Um, and this is, I think the colour is gilded, if I'm not mistaken. There's some cool stuff to do with this. I haven't even begun to learn how to use this stuff, but I was excited to see that it was in the kit. Um, 
And then we have a emboss, a Simon emboss and cut. Um, this is flower garden. So basically, if you don't know what that is, it's got an embossing. It's an embossing folder with this outer edge here, and on this edge, it will cut that section out. So when you put, I believe that's what it does. So when you put your piece of cardstock in it kind of cuts out, it embosses and then cuts out the center so it's kind of like a little frame, like an embossed frame and then you put this over the top hello awesome so uh, yeah and that's the pattern which is again matches and ties in with everything else which is so cute so cute <sighs> I get excited when I get packages like this <laughs> I'm obsessed with it um, these are the baseboards window frames from Tim Holtz Ideology and there are 10 pieces. Don't get put off by the fact that there's 10. They are thick, right? These are baseboards. These are like proper thick chipboard. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and it's Tim Holtz so it's going to be cool. But you could put some of this over the top of this and make it that sort of waxy thing. I think this, once you put it on, you can also heat set it and that's what gives it that gilded look. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys how that works when I work it out myself, um, but that's the general gist. And so you can give this added cool texture effects um, and like gilded effects to these. These look very cool on their own anyway, they're very vintage and you can do tons of things and you can use them with a window frame so you can use them for anything these look like portals to me so I would do like a fish kind of like a submarine fishy kind of thing with that and that's what they look like to me but <laughs> do whatever you want <laughs> um, but they're window frames I'm so excited because I've never I don't have anything like this I have a lot of Halloween and a lot of Christmas stuff that's to me but I don't have the non seasonal stuff at the moment, she says. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited about that too. I get excited about all of it. Let's just face it. And then, of course, the main event. 6x8, Simon Says, uh, stamp set. Always 6x8. Um, sometimes you get a little one in there, but mostly the main stamp set is always a 6x8. And this one's called You Shine, hence the name of the card kit for the month. And there's some very cool... Uh, you know, you're sweet, hello, happy birthday. When life gives you lemonades, I love. Oh, oh. <laughs> not what I expected to say. I was kind of going with what was on there. Uh, when life gives you lemonades, lemons, I love how you make lemonade. That is a cool way of saying the same thing that that other phrase said. Love it. You shine and then you make life sweet. And there's a lovely like window box thing and then obviously lemons. These are citrus fruits, you could do oranges, you could do limes, have at it, nice little orange, that obviously is more lemon <laughs> than anything, but this you could use as an orange or a lime or a grapefruit or anything like that. And then the very cool bugs, butterflies and bees, can't go wrong, so cute. So I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, yeah, and I, as always, when I post this video, I usually do the next couple of videos um, as ideas for this. It might change a little bit this time of year <laughs> because I normally, I've already started with a Halloween and holiday, Halloween, Christmas themed things. Um, so Mondays probably will be my normal, <laughs> non-holiday uh, projects. So although this will go up and then the next few Mondays will be non-holiday but you know card kit or card kit themed videos if that made any sense um, because I want to get into my holiday stuff although you could use any of the, a lot of these things you could use for holiday stuff as well so we'll see we'll see what I can come up with but I hope you enjoyed this I hope this gave you an idea of the new uh, Simon Says You Shine card kit for July 2022 um, and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye!